on the uh, North Saskatchewan River. I'm going to throw in some material here just to show you guys. I think that's beautiful. Beautiful. So this is just sand, clay, mixture of everything out here on a sand burr. Unclassified. Just out. This is the first uh, field test, and uh, looking good. If anything, I gotta raise it up a little bit, I guess. The hopper, clear it out a little bit more. Unclassified. 100%. There it goes. Nothing at the back end at all. Really, really nice. Really nice. So I just got UR and then my my extension on here. I think I'll beef up the uh, low a little bit more. Maybe increase the pitch a little bit. But just a field test, just out running, having some fun here. So I'll uh, sign off for now and I'll grab some more video as we go. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I basically took the, uh, the dam that was here out just to see what's going to happen. And uh, lo and behold, just as I thought, it's going to plug up on the, uh, on the corners here with sand. All this material is, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is dancing around there pretty darn good. I had to lower the uh, flow down a little bit. I had it way too high. It was just blowing everything out. Everything in the UR was pretty well clean. I had to drop the flow down a little bit. Under that. bit of built up behind the, uh, the ripples here as well on the downdraft and razorback. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, just a few wear mat in there now and uh, everything is dancing around pretty good on the UR. I've got uh, I've got some new maps coming I'm gonna try out. I got a talon and different ones coming. I'm going to shut it down, just have a quick look at it and uh, go from there. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Amazing. So just up running again. Got some color but uh, just giving it another whirl. Unbeknownst it just uh, top hopper is perfect. Put the five gallon pail on there and then just working it in. So uh, something new, never planned for, but it uh, works great. Just, uh, yeah, I guess pitch-wise I got about nine, eight, nine degrees on the uh, on main sluice and about uh, seven, eight on the, uh, the extension. So just to let you know, stay tuned and I will uh, be back again in a bit. So I put in some expanded metal now and I'm gonna give it a whirl. No, pretty, pretty good. Still exchange happening. Increase the volume just a little bit. Put in that second mat here to give it a try as well. There's the expand it. Looks like it's clearing out pretty good. Good exchange. I also put in the fluid bit back there. You can't see it with the reverse ramp. So I'm giving that a roll as well. Yeah. Again, I just uh, just got the pump about half uh, half throttle. Taking it from different places, like I say, 
main purpose for me being here today is just to, uh, to test this out. Gold would just be an extra, a bonus. But I'm just testing this out, see how it goes, what other things I've got to change. Okay, so I just turned the water off on the unit here, so it's just draining here now. See, this is really working well. I think this is really working good. What it's doing is uh, it's creating a back, a downdraft right on this riffle right here. When it's active, it just really, really exchanges in through there, really exchanges well. Band of metal, not too sure. I'm going to pull it out, see what happens. Again, right down below, I've got the uh, punch plate down there. You can see it. That's the reverse ripple there. So, uh, yeah, hauled out and have a look. As I'm cleaning here, I might as well just show you this, but. Uh, a lot more, a lot more cons, a lot more bigger material than than without the expanded. This is with expanded metal here on top of the UR, so definitely a lot more cons. And then that's uh, that's what I captured back there in the reverse ramp. So not a whole bunch. I don't know if it's worth it or not having it there. But right after, right here, there's a big buildup of uh, of material. So. We'll see. We'll see. So I just took that punch plate up, that fluid bed. Just wanted to show you. There's about uh, well three quarters of an inch deep, which is what the uh, punch plate is off the UR, and a whole bunch of material there. So I don't know if it's just garbage stuff or if it's something uh, worthwhile. It's time will tell. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I'm back home, just doing a quick cleanup of the cons. That's a nickel there, and I'm sorry and apologize for the glare, but uh, we talk about the gold here, guys. I mean, like I got jet dry in this, and uh, that's a piece of gold right there, floating. See it? That's how hard this stuff is to get. That's how fine this stuff is over here. It's crazy. I mean, I didn't go with the sole intent to, uh, you know, to look, that's all gold right there. That's gold floating on top of the water. This stuff is on the bottom right here. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. There's a couple of pieces of gold right here. One right there, one right there. This is fine, fine stuff. You know, and... As I mentioned in the videos, I, was, I just used the UR matting. I used UR and expand it. I used... Uh, in the extension in the flare section I had uh, downdraft and razorback I can say the sole purpose was to go and uh, do some field testing on this unit and stuff but that's what I got that's that's what I got right here you know just wanted to show you guys you know really it's that's what gold can do. It can just float on water like that. Right there. That's one piece. There's a couple more pieces. Right there. That's pretty crazy. And like I say, I got jet dry in here as well.
anyway.